here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. My name is Heike Ritter. I'm from Microsoft. I'm a technical evangelist. So, um, yeah, we're walking around from A to B and B to C and uh, deliver all the new technologies we offer. Um, I'm an IT pro, but my colleagues from downstairs, they have a group, Nokia, X and uh, Microsoft, and they asked me to hand out some shirts. It's like, I'm a dad. I won't fix your printer. So I'm the printer guy. I will fix the printer, but I have to hand them out. If, if someone wants a shirt later, I put them over there, and it's a nice um, go away. So what is my session about? It's about how to securely manage Android devices in an enterprise environment. Um, I first have to, sorry, get my stuff working. So yeah, I think as we all know, the world has changed um, in the way we use devices, we work um, with our devices. Um, if I look around, so everybody has at least one or two devices with them, like a laptop or um, a smartphone, also some companion devices, um, uh, smaller tablets as we call them. And um, we want to work from everywhere and at any time. And um, also the data on the devices is um, distributed. So they are the data is on the device, the device is, the data is on the laptop, which is probably owned by the company, all the data is in the cloud, and the data is locally stored. So we have a kind of um, new opportunities with that, but also of course um, some um, new challenges. If we um, look at the yeah our, our um, meaning of people-centric IT, what does it mean? So we have users, and the users, they, they use different devices. Um, and not only one branded device, for example, they, they have different devices. We at Microsoft, of course, most of them, um, we have Microsoft devices, but for example, at Core, they don't get a um, company phone, they get money, and they can buy themselves the phone they like, they want. And some of them, they choose different devices, but they also want to get access to our corporate data, and our IT has to manage all that. So, get the device connected to the corporate, and of course, secure the data. People-centric IT, when I look back, historically, all the devices were owned by the IT, managed by the IT, I got a replacement, um, a replaced device, if mine got broken or something, um, and it was, Basically, the, the, the device was managed, updates, policies, um, software that has to be installed in the device, and the time changed a little bit in more people centric So the person, the people, they use the devices, and they want to have the applications on the devices they want to use. So we, we, we are not going to deliver an application to a device, we are going to deliver an application and the security settings and everything to users now. So that means people-centric IT. So we want to have a management capability for all those devices. We want to have a, a deployment capability of all those devices and also um, policies for different kind of devices. And of course, the data um, should be secure and um, uh, manage, manageable from the um, IT. Yeah, so we want to enable our end users to use the devices they want. Um, we want to unify the environment, to have the applications available for them whenever they need it, and of course, protect the data. Um, with two different um, technologies we have from Microsoft. So one is Windows Intune. So this is a cloud-based solution. So you don't need a huge environment uh, set up already. You don't have to um, install all the servers and app or everything. You just sign up for Windows Intune. You um, license how many users you need. And then you allow them to enroll the devices and set up policies if you want to apply on the devices. That's quite simple. Um, that's our mobile device management solution. Not only you can also uh, manage PCs and everything else or anything else, but um, we call it the mobile device management solution for Android, Windows phones, um, Windows RT devices. If you're familiar with RT devices, for example, you can't install agents as well, so this is why they are listed here, because um, you can't um, install any other third-party um, applications to get management functionality running on that. 
um, for larger enterprise or many of our customers and partners, they already have system center uh, in their environment and you can connect them together. So for an administrator, it's still a single admin console, so we use um, system center and um, with the connector, he has all the possibilities to manage through the connector, um, the Windows engine subscription means the uh, policies and everything. You don't need to um, go to the Windows engine portal just for the mobile devices and manage all the other server and um, computers on premise on a different console. So he still has one, we call it like a single glass of pain to um, manage everything. The good thing is about the uh, system center, you can also manage and deploy your enterprise PCs. So for a user, it looks like that. So we have um, for all kind of um, mobile platforms, we have a portal, um, uh, application, company portal app. Um, those are available at different stores. The user installs the application and rolls the device. And um, we as an administrator have the capability then to manage and um, administer those devices. Um, I'm going into a demonstration soon, but just to cover a little bit of the possibilities. So the app user itself, for example, for each platform you can see, I put the upgrade one here on the front. Um, the user can enroll the device, the user can, can rename all the devices he already um, enrolled on the portal. Um, he can um, itself retire the device, so it means he doesn't want to um, get managed through the Windows Intune portal anymore, he just wants to give it, get out of the company or whatever. He can um, remotely wipe this device or also other devices um, that he sees in the portal. He can install applications and so on and so on. So that's, those are the capabilities and they are coming more. So we are just at the beginning. We, I think uh, two months ago or maybe four months ago we just released the application um, for Android, first we only have the chance that the possibility to manage through Exchange Active, so now we have the full device management capability, and um, I know that there is coming more. Um, for the manager, uh, for, for the IT stuff, um, we have inventory, for example. We can see what is the device, um, how we are, for some devices, we can see how much space is in use on the device, um, and we get different properties for different devices depending on the middle of the platform. And of course, as an administrator, you can also remote wipe the device, and that will go through that. Um, I skip this, and let's go to the demo. Um, demo was, what was the demo? Yeah, the tablet.
so yeah, we can change it now. Um, okay, I need to, I think I will just um, enroll the device without the video then and um, show you some of the administrative uh, possibilities on the console. I can't change it. So, uh, no, yeah, maybe. <laughs> So, um, I'm sure you can't see it over there, but I'm showing it for at least two or three people here in the front. So, it's just the, the um, uh, company portal app. I downloaded it from the store, I installed it, and now I need to register the device. So, that means I need to enter my credentials um, for the Windows Intune portal. Um, this is the more user. Um, we use this and then we need my password. And enroll the device. So um, as soon as I get the connection to the Windows Intune portal, um, it shows me um, a notification like, okay, if you, you need to agree that the administrator now has the possibility to delete all your data, um, you need to change the password for your, um, um, for, to unlock uh, the PC, there are like um, policies for the password, like it needs to be four character long or six character long. that I need to confirm and um, after I confirm this my device will get um, added to the Windows Intune portal and I think this is something I can show you here. This is just Android, the password. 
it's what quality, it, it, it's like different. So we have another one that's like a lot of simple password. This is, this is how it's called on a Windows phone or an um, iOS device. But we have all these settings here, for example, I say it's configured. And I only want numbers. I want it a little bit more critical. You can configure this here. And um, I, I think I said yes, I need a password. Um, Numeric, you can say a minimum of characters. Um, this is just for iOS and uh, Windows phones. What, what is the length um, of the password for? Do you allow simple passwords? Or do you want um, also know, um, like, yeah, iOS, as I said. Good, and at the end, you can, you, you can see you have clouds. Um, this is more for other devices at the moment. Um, like, do you want them to allow to back up the data to the iOS cloud or not. We have email um, policies we can set. This is what we configure through um, Exchange ActiveSync. Applications um, allow web browser or we want to allow the people to use the camera, yes or no, you can turn them on, uh, on, 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 with, um, on your company devices. I, for example, some customers, they yeah, usually disable all the cameras because they produce some nice stuff. They don't want uh, the employees to take pictures of. So yeah, all those kind of settings are available here. And you can, of course, that type the setting. And uh, you would see some, if, if there are conflicts, and if, for example, some devices are not, uh, they still have not configured the settings you want them to have, you get alerts. For example, if you want them to encrypt the whole uh, disk and the user has not just pressed your encrypt all the disk uh, space, then you will get an alert notification and you can force the, the user uh, to encrypt the all. Let's have a look if the device is here now. So yeah, this is the device now that um, I just added to my portal. The nice thing here is you have remote task, for example, remote lock, or um, password reset. <laughs> I tried this once, um, it, it's quite nice because um, then on the portal you can see I think it's on the summary tab. Um, general. Yes, I have now. Um, you can see, okay, the password we said was um, published at a certain time and got um, distributed to the device at a, a different time. And that is a temporary um, password is set. Um, so you can give it to the user, so the user can't log in until he has the temporary password that got um, shown you in the console. So this is the hardware inventory, for example. It takes a while until all those uh, properties get pushed from the device, but I think after five uh, minutes or something, you will see all the information about it. Yeah, back to the device. So we have, as I said, the possibility to uh, to lock the device, we have the possibility to um, password to set a password reset as well as retire or wipe the device. Means or uh, we just remove the application, the company app from the device, and all the policies get deleted. The user does not have to need to set a password anymore, and everything. Um, but all the data gets. Um, remains on the device, or the other possibility is really to send it back to the manufacturing uh, deployment and then yeah, the user has to install everything again from scratch. But those uh, possibilities are here, like wipe the device before retiring or just retire the device and remove the entry from the Windows into your console. So let's go to the application management software deployment. Unfortunately, I can't show you how the result is at the end um, on the device, but we can add software. 
we can, um, this is an extra window that opens up. So you can choose what kind of software, so do you want to upload a software installer package? So if you have your own um, APK file, then you just upload it, means the whole package gets stored in the Windows Cloud Storage and the user downloads it from there. Or you have, of course, the possibility to add an external link. And this is what I'm going to do now because it's much quicker. You can choose a nice picture. You can put it in a category. Next, upload. So now the, we have the app package or the information um, about the link from the store gets published, gets uploaded. So after that, I have my managed software overview and I still need to deploy it. So I can deploy it just for several users because you, I was saying it's people-centric, it's people-focused. So you go into the app, you manage the deployment, and you can choose it's for all users, it's just for my, I, I created some group groups, it's just for my Android users. The app won't show up on a device that is not able to apply the software, so you don't have to um, group all the users into like iOS users or Android users, and just created some, some groups, I added. Next, uh, what is it? Um, it's available for installation. Finish, you can of course also force some um, installation of applications, and that's it. So, as we have seen, we can either add our own packages, or we can simply provide them with the applications in the store we want them to know about, or we want them to have an easy way to install them. So this is the application management. In a Config Manager, for example, you can um, set a device to company owned or personal owned. So that means if you have a if you get the inventory, only the apps you distribute it through your enterprise management solution get, get listed in the software inventory, but not the private one, just to keep a privacy between that's my own personal device and that's my company device, and I don't want the company to know um, what kind of games or other applications I have installed on my device. But that's a property the administrator has to set, so you can't set it by your own, that's an administrative task. Good, um, I think so. Unfortunately, I can't show you how it works on this device, but um, it would now show up on the, on the portal, the new Google Analytics app. I just click on it, I access the Google Store, and uh, then install the download, download and install the application. And as I said, when you upload your own files, then the cloud storage um, is, is used here. Of course, you have an overview of it and everything. So yeah, that's from this side. I think this is just something I wanted to show you because I have brought all my config manager things. So this is if you if you work with config manager, you can choose all the categories you want to set, so like security, cloud, uh, hardware, uh, encryption, and I want all the users to encrypt all the things, so you select it. After that, um, you configure um, the settings, and in the end, this is what I was saying before, you can see on which device um, the, the, the property or the settings get applied. Good. 
I think so the rest is just, I don't know if you can download all the slides afterwards, if there's a possibility, this is why I put them all together, just to have a quick overview of the inventory, the retiring and wipe uh, information that gets removed if you, if you use those options. I don't want to go through them because I think I showed you um, how it works um, and that's much, it's just for like an appendix if you get the slides afterwards. Yeah, I think I'm done. Um, yeah, so the questions. So I, I'm, I'm here afterwards downstairs um, at the Microsoft Nokia booth. If there are any questions, I'll be there.